Today's subject is about these beautiful red peppers. What I'm going to do, I'm going to teach you how to make red flake pepper from these beautiful peppers with no extra additives and tell you why we use in Turkey red peppers so much, how it changes our food, how it can burn you, how it makes the food that we prepare, even a simple salad, taste even much better and how it's really good for us at the end. So let's start first. We have these dried red peppers, actually three different types of peppers. This is called Arnold Biberi. We have these long thin peppers and these come from a place where we had the earthquake called Samanda. These are Samanda red peppers. And in Turkey, the most famous red flake pepper, actually this one with my face on, comes from another place where we also had the earthquake called Maraş. It's so tasty, it's so nice, and it's really easy to make. First off, what's the difference, Refika, between this powdered red pepper from this flaked one? The most important thing is when it's powdered red pepper, we have to grind it so much. Some of the oil gets out and some of the taste goes away. For example, when I add this to, let's say, a salad dressing, it has a spicy taste. But when it's red flaked pepper, it has the spicy taste of an individual ingredient kicking you on one side and then it goes away. So it's not a, like a linear distributed taste, it's a taste that comes and goes. And inside when we have a spoon, the incredible thing that our mouth does is get the taste of things in different speeds. For example, when we have a nice eggplant kebab, you have a bread, you put some eggplants, you put black pepper, some red pepper and the meat. And when we eat it. First, we get the taste of the juicy meat a bit. Then we get the creaminess of the eggplant. Then the black pepper kicks in a little later. Then some hotness with a little bit of pain, but a pleasurable pain comes later. Usually, for example, when we eat something really hot, we start to chew it for a while. Then our eyes start to water and say, what the hell did I do? Either you swallow it or you take it out, but that taste still goes on. Why? Because our mouth gets some of the tastes a little later. But this is kind of like an orchestra. In orchestra, different instruments come into play in different times. So that makes a nice symphony. And that symphony, playing around with the size, Playing around with the ingredients makes you create that symphony even in a better way. So it's kind of like tricking. When the hotness, if it's too big, it's too much to swallow. If it's too small, it distributes and don't get the exact thing. But when it's flaked, it kicks you and goes away. Secondly, the flavor. For example, both a little hot red peppers. When I have this powdered red pepper, we have two things. A taste of the fruit a bit and some earthy tastes. And when it's really grinded like dust, the fruity taste goes a little lower and the earthy taste goes higher up on the rank. But when it's big chunks, the fruity taste is kept much better and you get that fruity taste with the hotness much more. So that's another reason why we like using red flake. What's the difference between the dried one, let's say using this dried pepper and a fresh one? like Mexicans use it. The fresh one, because it also is watery, it goes around your mouth, it gets into you faster and stays longer. But when it's dry, as you know, it kicks you and goes away faster because it's less watery. If people can't find dried pepper, <laughs> how can they dry? Great question, I forgot to answer. Your big chilies, you can put them on a string and if you are in a place where there's sun, you can like put it in front of the sun in your house, in your apartment, and it's gonna dry eventually. For example, there's one that we had made with different types of peppers, like this. It's a great way to dry it. How do we put it in? We put it in through the stems like this. But if you don't have that patience, have some kind of a net and put it outside, that would work. Still. You say that it's cold weather. We are in, let's say, not Arizona, but Minnesota. How can I dry it there? You can put it in the oven or the air fryer in 50 degrees. And with the fan on, it's going to dry in a day or something. That could be one other way to dry your peppers. This doesn't mean, by the way, because in your homes, 
even in Minnesota or high up in Canada, you will have the heating. So if you make it like this and hang it somewhere dry, you don't need to use an extra energy or electricity. This would work. So starting the recipe. In Europe, in many of the stores, the red flake pepper are sold with seeds. You can do this recipe by not throwing away any of the seeds, but I want to make something closer to this. So what I'm going to do, I take the seeds out. When you are making this at home, if you have a glow, you can use it. I am really against using glows. I hate the smell and the dust, etc. But if you have one which doesn't have any of those, you can use it because it's kind of hot and it might ruin your skin. And don't rub your eyes with your hands. It's gonna make you cry very much. As you can see, there's this orangey part. This is actually the capsicum gland, which is giving the hotness of the pepper. It's the hottest part of the pepper. Seeds stick to that. So I'm carefully taking the seeds out, but not taking them away. This is important. Another way to be able to take the seeds away is rub the pepper so that the seeds are ripped from the capsicum and then cut it and the seeds will fall. To show that we can make the red pepper from all kinds of peppers, we have these small peppers. I do the same thing and get rid of the seeds. This is a store-bought one. These are the ones we have made. As you can see, the colors are rather different. And the reason is, if the pepper is dried in a nice sun in four or five days, it becomes like this golden red. But when it has yellows and oranges, it's usually dried in a longer term, which is Istanbul weather in here. So it has multicolored. If it turns into black, it means that it dries in a much longer time, which is these thick peppers. When we take the stems and the seeds out, usually the pepper falls down to its weight is like 50%. So now before we start, we should prepare ourselves like this. Okay. I'm going to put all this in. Oh no, it won't fit. We're gonna make it in two turns. We close it. And instead of just like long term, have few. At this point, let the pepper flakes and there's a fume of hotness here. I let it sit for a while. Ideally, you can wait for like five to ten minutes. Now, because we're you know short on time, I'm going to open it. Preferably in ideal peppers, they don't put, but in home conditions, it's better to put a drizzle of olive oil and a bit of salt. When we cut it, the oil of the red pepper goes out. The olive oil helps for the oil to stay in and the salt makes it a little tastier, keeps in good condition. Now we can jar it. Sorry about some of the seeds, guys. We weren't really good at cleaning the seeds, but it's like this. We can make it even smaller, but I like it big. So here we go, an incredibly nice tasting red pepper now there's still a goodness in this what you can do is put a bit of water and when you're making soup put it in the soup so it's great we don't throw anything away and the seeds are going to be distributed around the team okay is going to take some i'm going to take some and we are going to use these seeds to make more peppers hopefully they're going to come up from 120 grams of red pepper we get this jar of greatness. Now I want to taste it a bit. Oh, so nice. Fire is nice. Another thing, when you get really hot, what do you want? The first thing you go is to grab and drink some water. Like this. Does it work? No. What does work is milk or I found some iron. Iron is yogurt and water again. Yeah, that's another reason why we like drinking iron and kebab together. How can we use this red pepper? One way that we use the red pepper is called yağ yakmak. Yağ yakmak means actually burning fat, burning butter, burning oil kind of thing. How do we make it? We put some butter. When the butter starts to melt, we take it a little away from the stove and then we add the red pepper. Then we turn the pan with our hands 
not directly under the contact of eye of the stove but a bit higher and this way the butter starts to have oil and it has bubbles and the taste of the red pepper goes to the oil a bit then you can put it on top of a mante you can put it on top of many of the mezes when you make chilber the turkish eggs it's really great even when you put it on top of some cheese and a bit of bread it becomes gorgeous and another thing that we do is also giving the final oil of the soup we make a marjimek chorbası a lentil soup or yogurt soup or different kinds of soups anything that you like you get the taste you don't like it very much you want to make it a bit spicy use the same technique that i've just explained in mantı do it and put it on to the soup and you mix it you can do it in front of your guests I pour it and mix it it's so well at the last minute it has the sizzle so so good in the mornings we have the sunny side egg the sunny side egg goes really well with a bit of red flake pepper and sometimes a bit of mint or thyme another thing for example we like seasoning our olives in the mornings we eat olives but you can eat anytime put some olive oil some red pepper some lemon juice maybe some lemon zest some garlic voila you get really nice olives with taste and the spiciness and i can very well say okay this is mine i love it i've chosen it upon many red pepper flakes but this one that we have freshly made would beat it it's the nature of it so this is so nice but try this so again take care hope you've enjoyed the video we are still feeling weird as you know because of all the earthquakes and we're trying to take care of the people there still and if you want to show your support one of the best ways is to leave any kind of comments you have leaving a comment liking the video means spreading it and that means so much financially and emotionally to us takes so good care Love you.